Welcome to part four. Uh, I just reached a major milestone. I got the retracts soldered. Soldered it to a wheel collar and stuck a brass tube in there. I'll show you right now. This is just enough room, so I might have to solder a washer onto each side. And if I bring it up, I'll show you what I mean. See right there. I just have enough room to make a solder. I have the RC airliner addict on the phone Skype and then the same deal for that side so we're getting there and I also saw the other piece like I showed you so uh, right now I'm gonna make sure everything's lined up as you can see it's a little off and then uh, we'll start on the nose gear actually I decided to do the motor wiring I just finished installing all the motor wiring I see a pretty big mess I clean up but uh important thing is I now have all the motors turning the right direction, so here I have normal rotating props. And over there, there's a counter rotating props. Here's what it sounds like. That sound was it rubbing against the stand, so when I held it up by itself, it sounded really nice. Actually, I'll do that right now. And then I spent a few hours organizing that huge mess of wire. There's the cob with fairings made out of styrene. Then I started covering the wing with the ultra coat or park light silver as I did in the cells. This stuff shrinks very well. And then I uh, uh, hinged the airlon, tested it out, works great. And then I covered the horizontal stabilizer and elevators. And I started covering the fuselage with ultra coat, uh, normal ultra coat, white, try to hide up the stringers. And you really had to do it in pat small patches. Then I um, started the wing mount system by first adding the wing bolt plate, drilled some 93 something holes in there, tapped it out for the nylon bolts I got, 1032, and then added the uh, dowels, as you can see. And it works very nice. You see how the bolts go down through the wing mount on the top and go get the plywood plate. I only just finished epoxying the retract unit and there's no bracing or servo steering right now, but here's a look at what it's supposed to do. Zoom in a little. Now I have the bracing and the servo mount. Okay, unfortunately, I have to once again cut one of these videos short. Um, I've been trying to get a lot of footage out to you guys because I'm trying to get this plane done soon. But unfortunately, a lot of stuff like the retracts, which I'll explain in a moment, really killing me. Uh, first off, I have gotten some stuff down. Like you said, I've covered the horizontal stabilizer, elevators. But I just finished um, covering the vertical stabilizer and rudder with the dark blue marker light which is I was a little worried about the color not matching the real plane but it's perfect especially against the my fuselage it just looks like the real colors on the Everest Air cargo plane that's nice and I finished all the elevator and rudder push rods I am um, using a Sullivan I think it's 507 guide here with a smaller Duro point zero six zero a uh, little beefier wire for the elevator and then just a standard easy connector wire. I think it's point zero four something for the rudder. But otherwise, uh, um, the retract, nose retract, I should do a quick clip of the, it operating. Um, since then I have beefed it up. I epoxy the two place in place and added a bunch of extra strengthening so it's very sturdy for the grass runway. Uh, hot glue to servo in, there's barely any room and that's, that's where things went bad because um, twice went to the hobby store, twice, Hobby Town USA, not my good hobby store, which is a little farther north, to get 532 wire, mislabeled it twice, and I have way too, much, way too much wire that's too big, so I'm trying to bend a one out of stock wire, which I hate, because that came with the retract, because see that little uh, absorption uh, loop, I don't like those, because I keep seeing the way when it retracts, 
Uh, also, I need to get a smaller wheel because this one is a little too big. I think I can get one three quarter inch, and then um, yeah, that's and the problem with I made mean, a three thirty two inch strut because I you know I got the wrong wire again, and even and I tried to fit a brass adapter in there, it didn't work. So I tried just clamping it down with the grub screws, and it just moved around way too much. So I definitely need to bend a new one, unfortunately, because bending these is a lot of effort. It hurts my hands. Um, oh, and so I was fine tuning the main retracts. You can see this one's almost ready to go, but my left, or actually my right main retract right there, uh, something came loose inside. And E Flight, you know, they stuff as much stuff as they can get in here to make it light. Opened it up, and just things started falling apart. Solder uh, joints came loose, so I spent uh, $45 on a main electric retract replacement. I know it's like a government project, you know, I over budget already. And um, and then another setback. I kept. Uh, I was trying to sol solder washers on the end so I could secure the wheels, and that kind of worked. But I had to take them off because it would heat up my solder joint on the on the on the wheel collar right here. So yeah, I had to solder those back on. Anyways, I've just been a lot of setbacks, but I'm still planning to get this done next two weeks. So uh, 